Performer and stunt artist is recovering tonight after a skydiving accident. We're talking about Connie Palmer. She broke her back and legs after a fall last month and still had several surgeries, more surgeries to go through. Her family and friends are now stepping up to help. She spoke exclusively with our Paolo Soro from her hospital bed. From aerial performances to stunts, even fire breathing, Connie Palmer has tackled it all. But last month when she went skydiving, which she's done for 13 years now. Wounds that I think are from the inside of my helmet. She got in an accident after deploying her parachute, not remembering to pull on the handles to hit the brakes. All my friends on the ground said that I just didn't do anything and rode it right into the ground. I didn't have a malfunction. I just... I don't remember. But the next thing she briefly remembers, waking up after surgery the next day. She had broken her lower back, her legs, got a concussion, and injured her lungs. I am bed bound. I have not stood on my own feet for four weeks now. Not being able to just get up and walk across the room or get up and stretch is really challenging. I'm definitely stir crazy and ready to get up again. Connie is hopeful to be back up and moving soon, but it will come with expenses. She's already had multiple surgeries, which have added up to at least $78,000 to date. Her transportation to get to and from her medical appointments aren't covered by her insurance. And I can't sit or stand, so I can't be moved in a vehicle. I have to be um, put on a gurney. The one message she wants to get across, her love for the movement arts isn't going anywhere, and it shouldn't for you either. If people want to skydive or ride horses or ride motorcycles or do any of the other things that are like stunt related, I think they should still try it. This could have happened to me like, you know, walking down the road. 